Hello guys and welcome to a new video. I want to tell you that something sad happened. I just uh, finished uh, recording a video, but the problem is that that it, it didn't record. It didn't work for some reason. I um, started recording and it failed. And this video was about um, finding which web browser uses the least amount of memory. Because Right now I use the, bear, the Brave web browser and it works fine, but the problem is that it used to be too much memory. Uh, sorry, let me show me my camera here. So that's that's the problem right now with Brave, um, that it, it it's cool, but it used to be too much memory. Of course, this computer has lots of memory and it's not a big problem for this computer, but for my laptops, especially, they are a bit uh, resource restrained and um, constrained or whatever. Um, so they really, struggle sometimes opening you know android studio which uses a lot of memory and in the browser with lots of tabs and then i mean sometimes i then can't uh use the emulator because memory is already full and i have 12 gigabytes of ram so <laughs> yeah it's crazy how much memory um, computer programs use these days right but uh, so that's the reason why I uh, spent the other day uh, looking at the best web browsers or actually all the web browsers that I could found on the internet. I spent like more than an hour of, or two hours searching for them and, and only choose the ones that uh, are being constantly maintained. So they are up updated in the last couple of months or so, which is a regular a good thing because every major browser has been updated in the last couple of months. Um, so, and the list was a, 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 lo a, bit, a, list, a bit larger than this one that I have here. So this is the list with the results, by the way. Uh, for a spo spoiler, <laughs> here you have the Sea Monkey is the winner actually, but okay, I'll go back to that later. So the list was uh, like at least 10 of them, but some of them don't uh, even are, weren't able to play a YouTube video. So I discarded those and I l was left with these ones. And then I basically, how I, did I measure the, um, the memory usage of this um, browsers? Well, I did it in the following way. I first, uh, before launching the browser, I clear all the caches and buffers and whatever uh, on my, from my system. The exact command that I use to clear the caches, I will, let me show it to you right now. Let me pin this. Um, Okay, so the exact command that I use for that, well, I have a like, script called mem, which flushes, caches, whatever. So let's see if I can show this to you. This You can use this if you want as well, if you want free memory. When your system is using too much memory, you want to free it. Um, so bin mem, this is the, the first line of this uh, script is the, is the command that drops caches in Linux. Okay, so this is the one that I use. So, uh, for example, right now if I go free, which tells me how much memory is used, as you can see, free is 2857. Now if I say mem, that will try to free like a bit of caches and it goes to 2966. So like one gig, I, get, I gained one gigabyte just by doing that. Flushes caches. So I flush the caches, drop the caches and um, then I launch and I measure it again. Why I do it in this way and not just look at these processors here in the task manager or whatever. Well, the reason is because um, when you launch a browser, multiple processes get created, you know, I don't know about browser, but I think some is isolation of tabs or whatever they do and it's hard to add all that and to keep track of all of them and to even know which, which process um, belong uh, to to the browser. So we flush, we launch and we measure. And that's what how we come out with these results right here. Q the browser is 866 megabytes. What was the benchmark? The benchmark was basically opening the browser and playing a video, a YouTube video. So all of this uh, can are able to play a YouTube video. Actually, this video right here from my channel when I test Bilang, and Hello. and that was the benchmark. And the cute browser was 866 megabytes. Midori 902 megabytes. Pale Moon 
636 megabytes, Basilisk, 682 megabytes, and Seamonkey, 515 megabytes. So Seamonkey is the winner, which is the one that I have open here, right? I also was testing if it works for navigating Wikipedia, and it works, it works fine. I, I am able to, to navigate it without any problem. I also opened my website right here, which is just um, a presentation of my launcher. Uh, go install it. This is a cool launcher I made. Uh, sadly, it got a couple of bad reviews, but it, it's not bad. It's good. <laughs> Right, the reviews are strange, like useless thinking of developer, <laughs> and then it's not good. It's not good, only good for tab and PC. So if you want to to help me a bit, go and download the launcher and um, leave a five star review. That would be cool, <laughs> I guess. If you think it doesn't suck, right, and if you think it can be better, then let me know. But I really spend a lot of time improving this launcher. So that's it. So that's it for this video. It works. Uh, it works. Sea Monkey works great. I plan to maybe do more updates on this one. I will be using Sea Monkey as my daily driver now. Okay. And I, if it doesn't work very well, then I will move to Pale Moon and then to Basilisk. And yeah, I think Midori and Qt Browser are not for me because they use too much memory. But also Qt Browser, let me let me launch it. Qt Browser, for those who like like um, you no know, Beam style key um, shortcuts, then this apparently it works like that. I I wasn't able to figure out how to input the URL here. So this is a bit the only browser from this list that works a little bit different in a way that's not explained <laughs> when you first open it. But um, okay, the rest of the browsers are regular, easy to use browsers. So that's what I wanted to say. And and yeah, I guess the, these three here would be the ones that I would be willing to test. Sea Monkey, Basilisk, and Pale Moon. Because they use like a lot less memory, like 300 megabytes less than these two. And that's a lot, right? For, for sure, on YouTube video, that's huge. Okay, so Sea Monkey will be for me. I will update on this and probably uh, upload new videos about this. Because really, this is important because web browser is something, a tool that everyone of us uh, uses, right? Every day, almost, I would say. So. If you reduce the resources uses used by your web browser, then your overall PC experience will be a lot better because you will be able to do more with your machine. In my case, especially on my laptops. So thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, tell your friend, share it. And if you are, uh, if you are, want to download my launcher, so go and download it. <laughs> Um, that's it for this video, and I see you on the next one. Bye.